highly favored, abundant blessing from God. God is really true to His promises that He will never leave nor forsake me. Hello Angels! Welcome to our mini balcony tour, which I now call the Prayer Party. When my family was affected by this pandemic crisis, we decided na humiwalay na lang ako sa kanila. It looks like I was ejected, but God helps me understand that it is His plan and will and way of protecting me. na develop ko yung prayer habit ko and naging lifestyle ko siya when I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Before ko nakita ang unit na to, I was praying to God and the only request ko sa Kanya is to find a place na pwede ko madala yung mga plans ko because my plans makes me happy and they are part of my healing. Grabe si God mag-answer ng prayer. The following morning, 6.30 a.m., I received a call from my cousin. Sabi niya, puntahan ko agad tong condo na to kasi sobrang baba ng renta. So I went and checked the unit, the first and only unit na chinek ko. And so here we are now sa unit na to. Now, the makeover of our mini balcony or the prayer patio. So una, linisin muna natin itong adding space and let's take a measurement kung anong pwede natin gawin dito. So for now, gagamitin ko muna yung aking terracotta pots na binibenta ko to actually pero since marami pa naman ito I will make this as patungan so etong wood na to is from the balikbayan box na crenate tapos ginawa ko siyang DIY dun sa dati kong apartment as our garden table so, itong rug na to ay padala ng aking kapatid from Dubai. So now, here are our plans. I-arrange na natin sila according to the height. Pero, pwede tayong maglagay ng mga patungan para ma-elevate sila. Since my herbs are already in a hanging pot, ikabit na lang natin dito. So, so that's my Thai basil, my rosemary, and then I have also another kind of basil, yung popular na basil, common basil, and then my mint. On the second day after namin, natapos tong mini balcony garden namin. Pagkagising ko sa umaga, sabi ni Judith sa akin, ate, punta ka muna dun sa prayer room mo kasi maglilinis daw siya. And that's how I call this place as my prayer patio. Sabi ko nga, I already developed a habit of praying, especially sa umaga, pagkagising ko talaga, diretso ako dito sa prayer patio ko. And magpapasalamat ako kay God for giving me another day that I'm still alive. O ba ang lapit-lapit ko kay God dito 
habang tinitignan ko yung mga ulap, parang nandyan lang yun si God, nakatingin sa akin. So dito ako nagbabasa ng Bible, and um, dito din ako nagsusulat ng aking devotional journal. So ayan, kabit muna natin yung mga pang decorate natin. So I use a ano kasi temporary lang naman itong bahay natin to. So I use yung para pang frame lang para hindi na tayo magabutas ng malaki dito sa cement. Itong wall decor ko ay African inspired na nabili ko doon sa Global Village sa Dubai. So, matagal ko na itong gamit and pinapackage ko lang dito sa Pilipinas and now, I am already using it. Kung napansin nyo yan, sa dati namin apartment, sa may stairs ko yan nilagay. Since meron pa tayong isang um, mukha ng African inspired natin, ilagay na lang natin dito kasi crowded na siya doon. So maganda lang yung tatlo doon and then isa dito. This is just a temporary home because I know God has prepared us a permanent home. Pero sa ngayon, I'm just so thankful and grateful to God God blesses us with a low rate rental, good view, good ventilation, and also a space for my plant. So for our tools, we organize din natin sila. Lagay natin dito sa black box yung mga seedlings ko. Hindi ko alam kung paano ko sila itatanim. I think hindi mo na ngayon. Then yung mga gloves ko, and then yung garden tools, lagay natin sila dyan. Then, ilagay natin doon para accessible lang siya. And I think, perfect siya dito sa ilalim. So, ayan! Perfect! So, here is the view at our prayer patio. I just want to share to you sa promise ni God sa akin. Last year, when I found out na bumalik yung aking cancer and nagmatasasize na siya sa lungs and bones, naalala ko na nagtanong ako kay God, Lord, what is your message for me? And He promised me in Jeremiah 29.11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a brighter future. Everything I have right now is God's grace. Know that if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you stand in victorious. If Jesus is for you, nothing can stand against you. My angels, please allow me to pray for you. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We are laying our fear and anxiety at your feet. I ask that you help us get through all our doubts and fears when we feel as if we are being crushed. Remind us that you are a powerful God. Remind us that we can trust in you. You are the God who provides our needs, who gives us strength, our healer, our redeemer, the source of everything, and the God of Almighty. We praise and glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To all of you, my angels, thank you for watching this video. I hope you are blessed. Keep on smiling. Keep safe. And be happy always. Just trust in God. See you in my next video.